really lucky, honestly, because I started to tattoo in some t normal tattoo shops and it was very hard sometimes with the customers. Because I had to shut the fuck up and do the job because of the owner or whatever. And now I'm really lucky because I meet some amazing people in my customers. People from, you know, different social levels, but very, very open-minded. And then they really, I really feed myself on through the people. The first time I came in Prague was 94, 95, something like that. I was touring with a band. And uh, in this time, everywhere I went for uh, doing a concert, I was trying to find uh, the local tattoo shops, and there were not so many of them in Prague. And I, I met Mikhail Burda from Tribo Tattoo in Prague. We met in Amsterdam, in Holland, uh, I think it was 2006, and he invited me to come. And, um, since this time I tried to come every year, every two years and uh, when I came back here I was just amazed about the level of the, of the Czech scene. The, the Czech scene is very renowned now outside of the, of the country itself, which is really great. There is a light down if the goes that the big change in Europe, not in the world, but in Europe, many many people know how to draw now, which was not specially the case for all the tattooists that you could meet like 20 years ago. Um, and I would say that now the new generation, I'm a part of it, even if I'm really at the end of the new generation, but all this new generation came out from uh, art school with a background about history of art, about museums, about paintings, sculptures or whatever. And, um, and then it just pushed away the limits of the tattoo. scene is huge, it's worldwide and unfortunately it's directly oriented with MTV and all the shit we have uh, on through the internet. The people just google any kind of subject and come to the shops with some very stupid designs done a million times and ask for the same shit. And the problem is it's big industry now. So you have two positions in the industry. The first one is what we call like street shop, is don't ask questions, do the tattoo, earn money and say next for the next customer. And the second um, position <laughs> in front of those people who ask some not very interesting things is taking time and then just sit down, then we can talk, and then we can maybe try to make something very personal. If you may purchase your dreams, you never catch them. When you can't sleep by night, it's because you're waking up someone else's dream Your heart is a secret When I see what happened in 10 years or even 20 years I'm very, I really hope to be here in 20 years to see because probably there will be like the same shit and there will be some visionary people that will try to explore the things maybe technically or so with the inks, maybe implants or electronic stuff, why not? Just the start. So people really understand that nowadays they can, uh, you know, be the real owner of their body. So it's a big state, a big change in the state of mind for people because now they're, they're really conscious about, they're able to change 
because now you're over the religious that had the control on your body and now I think it's a big consciousness and uh, it's not finished because it takes time. If, you, if you're doing this kind of, of job, you can stay in your shop all year long and then the risk is you can start to be the superstar of your street. And I hate this idea. Uh, the second solution is you want to learn and you want to evolve and then you have to travel. So I need to travel a lot. I need that because it fits me. Like for example, if I would stay in my place, for sure I wouldn't do the tattoos I'm doing in Prague or I wouldn't do the tattoos I'm doing in Singapore or in Canada or wherever. For me, tattoo is not art, it's art craft. So I consider myself more as an art crafter. If nowadays people don't spit on my work so much than in the past, I'm very grateful, but for the rest, as I said, I come from the punk scene, and the punk scene was really based on the DIY, do it yourself and do the things by yourself, change the things by yourself, don't expect anything from other people. So for me, uh, my, my story in the tattoo is the same, you know. I didn't have so much help from the outside. I had to learn everything by myself. And the only big thing in, in, in my history is that my customers help me to explore the limits and to push away the limits. So I must be, you know, full of recognition for that. Try to be true, that's it, very important.